moment, the possibility that dreams from long ago may still come true, even if they, even if, even if, even if they look lost forever. What's good, y'all? Hey, Zo, back with another video. Hope y'all doing well out there. So this video I'm reacting to today, Aiden Ross explains why he quit weed. We're gonna see what Aiden got to say about this. I've seen Aiden smoking weed before. And also, I'm curious because Aiden is successful, you know what I'm saying? One of the biggest streamers ever. He got money, cars, home, purpose, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just wondering, like, when people at the top of their game, well, like, life is just great. Why do they choose to start smoking weed, you know what I'm saying? So, we're going to see what Aiden got to say. If you're new to my channel, check out all my videos about quitting weed down below in the playlist. Also, join the Discord if you need some support or motivation on your quitting weed journey. And yeah, let's get into it, bro tape putting it into my head then my you know my mental that like hey like he he, he tape putting it into my head then my you know my mental that like hey like he, he he made me really believe like you know you need to be the best version of yourself you have so many people who watch you on a daily basis and you know you have people that really are studying what's going on with you and and everything on the internet and if you show your viewers that you're changing and 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 you know following things you're saying making no making promises and and you know following through then it's going to change the way your viewers look at you and the way your viewers also treat themselves and and, and live their life which have, is true have you thought about this self-improvement is so powerful y'all i'm telling you it don't matter who you are man woman young old self-improvement is so powerful when people see you go from maybe poor to financially stable or out of shape skinny or fat to in shape fit you know what i'm saying or they see you go from you know what I'm saying? Not loving yourself, hating yourself, being an unhappy person to loving yourself, loving life and all that stuff. When people see self-improvement stuff, it really affects people, bro. Like, they may not say it. They may not tell you, like, I see what you're doing. You inspire me. You motivated me. But people really see that, bro. People have a big ego, so they may not say it. Like, I see you on your self-improvement. I see you leveling up. I see you doing this. I see you. And they may not say, like, you motivated me. You inspired me. Or you impacted me in this way. But people be seeing it, bro, and it really be touching people. Like, I noticed that on my journey. The more I stay consistent on YouTube or I talk about my quitting weed videos and stuff like that, people be, like, taking that in, like, dang, maybe I can quit this bad habit for myself or quit weed or maybe I can go hard on YouTube or maybe I can start my business and go after my dreams. You know what I'm saying? It rubs off on people. So Aiden, in the position that he in, if he, like, put that out there, like, I'm on self-improvement, I'm leveling up mentally, physically, he already good financially, but it's always another level, you know what I'm saying? But if he just get on his self-improvement, that'd be crazy how many people he can actually impact, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Prior to having that exchange with Tate, like, have you ever thought about just the way your viewers look at you and the way your viewers also treat themselves and, and, and live their life, which have, is true. Have you thought about this prior to having that exchange with Tate? Like, have you ever thought about this prior? Were you ever thinking like this? Nah, I wasn't, bro. To be honest, I'm very comfortable. I'm very lazy. I'm a naturally lazy person. That's why I quit smoking weed. And I, and I said this before, smoking weed, I, you can smoke weed if you can, you know, be very, you know, productive. But I can't. I'm very lazy. I'm a lazy person as it is, so I have to get out of my comfort and, and go crazy. You know what I mean? I have to yeah. really do yeah definitely bro we will definitely have you in your comfort zone they had me in my comfort zone for like seven years bro i was comfortable not really making a lot of money you know what i'm saying whatever job was gonna pay me a decent amount and i ain't had to take no drug test i was gonna go with that it made me comfortable like financially it made me comfortable just not improving myself in the gym it made me comfortable not learning new things it made me comfortable just watching everybody else thrive in life and me just okay i see him doing this thing keep scrolling next person well, i see them doing anything keep scrolling it made me just comfortable just like not improving my own life you know what i'm saying so Aiden talking about weed and stuff like that, how it made him lazy, even though he already like good for real, for real. But he talking about how it made him lazy, and basically he don't really want to slow up, and he feel like weed was slowing him up, making him unproductive and more lazy. But yeah, it's a short clip, bro. Shout out to Aiden for just sharing that. Um, you never know what the people he can reach. You know what I'm saying? I know he got a like, young people that watch him, and they might think like smoking weed is cool, and you can still be productive with it. But like everybody's not like that. Some people really smoking weed makes them lazy and slows them up. And Aiden just spreading his awareness about how it's affecting him, making him lazy and being honest with it. You know what I'm saying? Not just following the wave, everybody smoking weed because it's cool. He being honest, like, yeah, weed make me lazy and I want to be on my self-improvement stuff. So shout out to him. That's what's up, man. But yeah, man, y'all check out my quitting weed videos if you're new. I join the Discord if you need some support and motivation and stuff like that with quitting weed. And yeah, I'm going to holler y'all on the next one, man. Peace out.